Welcome to Market Monkeys. Okay, today we're going to be talking about capital gains and capital loss. Let's get into it. Okay, now when you think of capital gains and capital losses, a lot of people will start thinking, how do I now lock in these gains and how do I take the losses? Now, it's coming up to December, or it is December right now actually. If you have a loss and you want to get out of a company, the best time to be doing it is in December. I mean, you can get out through the year if you don't want to take any more of a loss, but if you're at a loss and it's stable and you just want to get out of the, the uh, stock there, sell in December, then that loss will then be carried over from the gains through the year. And you can put that onto your taxes and that'll reduce your overall taxes that you're paying. Capital gain. Now, yeah. Now, converse to that, if you've got a massive gain and you want to capitalize on that, it's coming to the end of the year, you want to get out, the best time to do it will be in January. You give yourself another year before you have to pay any taxes on that uh, gains that you've just made. So that's the best time to do this. I wanted to let you guys know that as it's coming to the end of the year, if you were looking to get out of something, if you really, really must get out of something right now, today, then to, to lock in that gain, then, then do it because you think you have to do it. But if you think you can push that off for another month, I would definitely recommend waiting that extra month and locking those gains in for yourself without paying tax on that so you can use the full amount for another one year. Yeah. So you have the gains you take out for the, uh, and you solidify that in January. Then you can use those gains without being taxed for another whole year. Yeah. Now, when that year's come through, at the end of the year, should you have taken any losses, then you lock those losses in at the end of the year. That doesn't mean now that you sell everything that's all of your portfolio that's down in December and everything you've gained in January. You can absolutely do that. But if you're looking to restructure and you want to look to um, rebalance your portfolio, December and January is the time to do it because that's where you can really leverage on what you've gained, what you've lost and not have to worry too much about the taxes and you can really manipulate things. With, not taxes, but manipulate how long and, and what point in time you're going to be paying those taxes. Okay. Yeah, just put yourself in the best position for you. Absolutely, and absolutely. And you're thinking about you the same as we're thinking about us. Absolutely, and you're still, I'm not saying not paying taxes, you absolutely are, but you're just deferring that for up to another 12 months yeah. and giving yourself time to, should you be able to make any more with that extra money, fantastic. Yeah. If not, you know, the, the loss is taken at the end of the year, so it balances out at the end yeah. of the year. So that's uh, what I just wanted to say to you today because I think that's a really great point. That's what I do, that's what you do, and that's how it's uh, done by a lot of professionals. And it makes sense if you really think about it, and it works really well. Yeah. Um, so I definitely would like to recommend that. Um, and if you've you got any, anything. Yeah, if you've got any questions for us, just ask us, we will answer. Yeah, um, that. Good or bad, answer. we always answer. Uh, <laughs> if you enjoyed it, just subscribe. Thumbs up as well. That'd be great, thanks yeah, very much. Thumbs up. <laughs>